the weather's probably what's 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 doing it mostly. Um, but what I was saying was one of the cool things about the uh, the original Hulk in the '60s was the fact that he he got the serum. He had a motive behind getting the serum. It wasn't just trying mm-hmm. to pre- like further science and things like that. It was because you know back in the day they always talked about how you know uh, or they would mention in stressful situations humans can perform superhuman feats yeah, right adrenaline. yeah adrenaline things like that and um one of the ones that uh in this situation when when uh bruce banner finds himself in the same situation he can't muster the ability to lift up the car to save his his wife and kids mm-hmm. and so he develops the serum and that's what starts the whole show um very sad show too very but it was it was really brilliant because it was the idea it played on the motif that he would always be alone until he figured out how to fix this this issue yeah um there's a lot there's a lot that makes the hulk great in my opinion there's a lot that makes him interesting and unique um and deep as a character Mm -hmm. um so hello everybody by the way um once again, we can't seem to be doing this fucking live because my internet is just absolute garbage. We run these streams. I'll have to like <laughs> – I was thinking about it this way. I was thinking um, Team Viewer allows you to uh, to get on someone else's uh, uh, computer and basically like do anything on their computer if you need to. Yeah. I was thinking – It'd be funny if I just had this stream ran on your computer, but I just had Team Viewer doing all the yeah. editing in it. <laughs> so you're just like, yeah, I'll just you know, it's it, I just need the internet basically. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, so today I was wanting to talk about the uh, the Lord of the Rings, which we'll probably have a day where we have a couple guests on and talk about the yeah. Two Towers and Return of the King. Mm-hmm. But to to. To kind of figure out something else to watch after uh, Rings of Power comes out, I was trying to do some research, and I was like, "I'll check out She Hulk." I wasn't super interested in it because I had a pretty good feeling it was gonna be a, it was gonna be bad, um, and so I was like, "Oh, it's like two episodes have came out, and they're each like about thirty minutes a piece." And I was like, "That's pretty short, so I'll check it out." Yeah. And I watched it this morning, and about seven minutes in, I had to stop what I was doing. And immediately bust out the laptop, microphone, camera, and all the shebang because I needed to capture my reaction to yeah. how abysmal this this show was. So it's not for us. No. And I and I say that as an it's not meant for guys. No. It's a show about women empowerment. Yes. Very. Um, but it's also uh, about a protagonist who is a Mary Sue and immediately good at everything. Um. Yeah. 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 You, you know those characters where it's you, like you know the character, and it seems to be coming like an increasing trend where women can have no faults in media. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. No joke. Um. So, after watching that, me and Riley needed a taste of something that was better. So we uh we watched um the Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton, which was yes two thousand eight much more satisfying. Yeah. Let me bring up our full full yeah. image yeah. over here. You're watching that movie. Um. Kind of made me like, kind of like flooded back memories of how like violent the CGI in that yes. movie was. It was like because the Incredible Hulk. It's not like the Hulk now where he's just sort of like pastel green and just kind of like a big older guy. Yeah. Like in the two thousand eight, the Incredible Hulk, he's fucking like shredded. You can see like individual see the, muscles. Yeah, the striations he looks in his like, chest yeah. and arms. He looks like he's made out of cords. He's just like. <laughs> Super veiny, like shredded to like lettuce. deep green, right? Deep green with like browns and shit in him, and it's just like and like the scenes where you see him physically transform, like you feel and hear bones cracking, you see his body morphing, That's right. and it's just like in the latest MCU that we see, he just gets big. Yeah, it's just it's just bigger, Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Um, and. You know, I, I can live with that. It's okay. I don't like the integrated Hulk. Because it goes... It yeah. cuts against what makes the Hulk interesting and unique as a character. Is, yeah. you know, the whole thing is... You have Bruce Banner and you have the Hulk. And, you you know, if you, if you merge them together, you're getting rid of the, the beast within. And then it's just another superhuman. Yeah. 
Like just you're another generic, super strong human, and it's boring. It's it's yeah. lackluster milk toast, right? Yes. But with she, but with She Hulk, She Hulk, yeah. It's you. You never have it to begin with. <laughs> Wait, that. She Hulk. She Sheik from Legend of Zelda, but Hulk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She Hulk. That's your next MCU character coming oh, up. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Exactly. Pay us and pay us. Universal Studios. Yeah. Disney. Well, it's, yeah, Disney. Because <laughs> Universal Disney is going to be the one. Funny enough, I'm actually watching an, an anime right now called Golden Kamoi. Mm-hmm. And you know what throws me off on it? It's produced by Universal. Really? Yeah, because I'm sitting here and I was wanting to watch it. And I was like, yeah, I'll watch with Shay. And I pull it up. I start bringing up a name, you know, it's like, burr, 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 and I'm like, wait, fucking what? Yeah. I'm trying to watch an anime. Why is yeah. everyone else's studios showing up? Um, Westernization has ruined anime. <laughs> yeah. uh, that'll be a good video for another time. Another time. Another time. Um, also, welcome to the Junior Critics. My name's Jeremy. This is Riley. Okay. Funny. I'm um, um. Anyway, <laughs> it's a play on words. If you're if you are galaxy brain like us, if you're super red, <laughs> if you got if you got yeah, if you've got big brain over here. Yeah, if yeah, what? It's a different show. It's not the same intro for every show, sweetheart. Yeah. Three, two, one. Welcome to the junior critics. We'll hey, get that's copy- license, we'll that's get license copyrighted. Music. Shut that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright claim, dude. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully the audio didn't pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if, if, if you didn't hear him, you should start playing Sweet Home Alabama. We're going to get sued by the state of Alabama. <laughs> oh, wait. wait. <laughs> but yeah, so... Um, She-Hulk was a disaster. I mean, well, the thing that gets me is that it's, it's worse than that, because I... I can laugh at a bad show. Mm-hmm. I I have trouble laughing at a show that insults me and insults like the Hulk. Yeah. I um, mean, it might okay, so it might not be me in particular. However, it is an insulting show. You can't yeah. can't go past that. So it it's like what I want to. I guess I can just bring this up as a positive on the show. Sure. They did stay true to She Hulk as a character in the comic. She's a lawyer in the show. She, I mean, as far as, like, the general theme. As go. far as the general, like, basis of her character is, like, she's a lawyer. She is cousins with the Incredible Hulk. She does get her blood mixed, although in the comics it's a blood transfusion used to save her life. She just accidentally gets blood in her. Which was a weird shot, yeah, by the way. Yeah, blood from his fingertips poured into her open wound. Yeah. <laughs> um, And she does, I mean, it's weird in the show because... Because you kind of have to read the comics to know it. But she does break the fourth wall in the comics. She does, She is like a Deadpool wisecracker. Right. Um, See, that was something that I wasn't quite... I didn't know exactly about in the comics. So it was good that you pointed out. Yeah, so baseline, she is... She is She-Hulk. Um, however, it does sort of like fill in the gaps uh, with a lot of like very progressive liberal feminism kind of shit. Yeah, and not even like the cool feminism. It's like the freaking third, fourth wave feminism. Yeah. Which, you know, if you're getting to the third or fourth wave of anything, you really need to just stop. Yeah, there was no fourth right. (laughs) They ended with three. Yeah. The the trilogy is what rules. Yeah. (laughs) Rules of three. Rules of three. (laughs) What is it? Fuck you, uh, Star Wars. Yeah. Fuck your rule of two. It's rules of three. And... So, yeah, so the third the third installation of this, uh, I, I don't even know. But, yeah, she is, like, kind of, like, almost painfully, like, relatable to, like, young women, I guess. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, when she's in her small Hulk, f- like, or, like, normal human form, she's... she's more relatable in that sense, although sometimes she can be a bit pretentious. But it's just, when she talks about being stressed is what gets me. Because you, because mm-hmm. there's a couple of scenes, and we'll, we'll, we won't go exactly, like, we, don't, we won't do a breakdown, because I don't want to fucking do a breakdown of that show. It's not worth breaking down. It's really not. There's nothing to break down. It's as, it's as shallow, as shallow as a kiddie pool. Right. It's, okay, so, yeah, it's like, the opening scene of the show is her being a woman. And she's just doing her lawyer thing. 
Yes, you know, and she like, has a she has a paralegal that is that is a her woman best friend, I suppose. Who's, yeah, who's her best friend, and then she has her co lawyer, who is like giving her constructive criticism. He's like, it's too wordy. It's too wordy. You, know, you should smile more. Try and you know win over your audience, right? And she's like, no, I want to take advice of my paralegal instead of my lawyer. And the and the guy actually brings up the point. He's like, you're gonna take advice from her instead of me, who because. All she, all the the girl was doing was just being like, "Yes, yeah. you're gonna win, you're gonna slay." And he's like, "No, nah, you should work on this and this." And he's like, "You're gonna trust her over me? I'm trying to give you actual criticism." And she's like, "No, nah, I'll trust my friend." I get the really strong but, sense. I get the really strong sense that every female character is just gonna be a yes man and just be used to like gas her up. Yeah, as the and every character. dude is going to be misogynistic. Or antagonistic, antagonistic, or they're going to be offensive in some way. Which, like, the show is so, like, uh, it's so obvious with its black and whiteness. There, yeah. there's, there's a scene that that gets me. I just like how slap cut it is. Mm-hmm. It's, it's shocking how you know it didn't even, it didn't even try to to blend them in. When we pick up the scenes, it's literally like handing you out. The candy of like this is what we want you to think, mm-hmm. because you have um, uh, she she gets. She gets blood from Bruce after they get in a car accident, which was pretty contrived. A starship literally showed up out of the sky, yeah. to blast them off a cliff, so they could get into this car wreck. Yeah, and it's that's a sentence I said for a she hulk show. Yeah. Okay. So, the, the there is a ship. And it just, like, kind of, like, descends down. Bruce explains it. I was like, yeah, I think it was trying to, like, send a message or something. Yeah, shit. it was trying to, trying to get me. I got to figure that out. Yeah, but um, they just run off a cliff. Yeah, they run off a cliff. But what gets me is the, is the shot. Actually, I'll, I'll show y'all guys the, the shot real quick. Because I'll get to the to the men being misogynist um, at a pretty decent point. But for here, I want to show y'all guys this. Let's see. So it looks like. If it pulls, yeah, if it, if it will pull up. Um, it's just bad cinematography, really. It, just it like, really is. Because what you have is, is, if this would load, what you have is you have a shot of what looks like blood dripping from his wrist or his hand, mm-hmm. right? And then it will hard, like, it will do a, it does like, a, 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 not a slap cut, but it does a cut to him where his face is like all over her wrist. And it's... It's confusing because I don't know if they wanted to go with the wrist, like being the thing that she got blood from, or from her head. Let me see if I can fix this because let me see. Oh, maybe we might have it. Let's see, I might need to turn down the yeah, mute the audio. Um, and so it's it's it it doesn't it just doesn't make sense where the blood where it's exactly coming from. All right, here we go. Let's see. So she goes. Um. To get Bruce out, right? And also when she fall, when she falls holding Bruce, I feel like if you're going to fall, you're going to be yeah, like, like pulling somebody underneath. That was another thing I'll, I'll show you or I'll tell you about right here. So when you fall, if you're trying to pull somebody out, for one thing, your right. arm, your hands are going to be underneath their armpits, yeah. right? Because that's the best place to, to... Arms over the chest, yeah, pull yeah. back. Pull back. So if you fall, it's going to be kind of hard for your arm to lay out on the back side of their head. Like, Riley, let yeah. me demonstrate. Yeah. If you're going to pull somebody, you're going to pull like this. Yeah. So they would have had to fall, and she would have had to get it out from under here for her arm to be laying like that, and then his yeah. arm's fucking bent backwards like and that. And my arm is straight up in the air. Yeah. So, and he's like, no, no, Jen, I'm bleeding. Why wouldn't you tell your family about your condition before? And it's, anyway. Um, so, she's rolled, right? And then, boom, we have this shot right here. Let me mm-hmm. get a more clear image. So the blood is dripping down. Um, blood's dripping down onto his onto her uh, forearm, right? His head is like his head is over here by her by her shoulder. You can see, um, and it's dripping down, dripping down, and then when it cuts right here, boom! His he- his head is now on her forearm more than anything, and his wrist is nowhere to be freaking seen way down over yonder. Um, so where exactly is the blood coming from? I'm not certain. Uh, so that was one weird, weird point of contention was where 
she got the, the, the blood from. She turns into a She-Hulk, blah, blah, blah. This happens, that happens. Um, the other, so what I was wanting to get to was the, uh, it's so, it's just so apparent in its black and whiteness. She goes to this bar that's nearby, this public bar. She looks all roughed up because she turned into the Hulk. Um, and she walks into this women's bathroom. And a few seconds later, a like posse of girls comes in. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh my god, what happened to you? Let's fix you up here. Take my heels. Take my coat. Yeah. You know, it's Gucci. You'll love it. At least you can like pawn it off for a couple hundred bucks. Um, and they just give her all this shit and start putting makeup on her, which, you know, that's fine. I'm sure that could sure. that could happen. Maybe not giving her clothes, but I'm sure that could happen. You know, yeah. women are natural nurturers. That, you know, that's fine. That, that's past. Yeah. It's like a B minus. <laughs> but um, the thing that gets me is this literally the next scene. Hard cuts. Boom. She's outside with a coat and a little bit of makeup on, right? These dudes walk out. And they're like, what's up, bitch? <laughs> Basically. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Is they're like, hey. What's you know, up, pussy with legs? <laughs> what's up, girl? You know, are you alone? Do you have a boyfriend? Like, Do you just, want some hard dick? Yeah, you, you just want to hang out. Why are you, like, running away? <laughs> <laughs> but It was like, before that, they just say, like, man, ladies' night was a bust. And yeah. Like, well, if that's your, if that's how you, uh interact with other human beings then obviously it's gonna be a bust it's like these dudes are just total giga chads no <laughs> <laughs> they just walk up to her grab her by the clit <laughs> straight up Donald Trump style <laughs> yeah they just give her the good old presidential treatment of grabbing her by the pussy um and they're just like they're just total like egghead dude like not yeah egghead. they're well, just well, like a complete douche yeah yeah we're being hyperbolic but they're yeah. but the 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 messaging is what it's what's clear yeah. so they're like obviously two, coming on to her in know? two scenes back to back in well, two quick scenes by the way they're not longer scenes. than than a minute yeah in two scenes back to back and also there's multiple uh cuts and scenes where we demonstrate where the show demonstrates this in the opening scene a man being a critical dick yeah, and a woman, and a woman just being, being a yes man, yeah, being a yes her. man and supportive, just, like, like, just being supportive of everything that she does. Guy is just a dick. Next scene, we see a gaggle of women, yes, just sort of like dressing her up, putting on makeup, being like asking her what's whoever wrong. Whoever did this to you, you, yeah, you, you don't deserve. You don't them. deserve him. I thought, I thought it was funny because they said you don't deserve him, her, or them. Yeah, they I was added, like, yes, had to include the extra pronoun in there. Yes, <laughs> there are three types of people in this world. <laughs> Bottoms, tops, and switches. <laughs> I think we should uh, completely demolish the gender binary that we the, know now. The Complete, rule three. Yeah, replace it entirely with top, bottom, and switch. The three genders. <laughs> Those are the three real genders. Those are the three realest my genders pro- ever. <laughs> my pronouns are top dominant. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Riley Walden, top dominant. <laughs> well, it'd be weird if you had someone who's like, hi, you know, I'm... Like, I'm top submissive. <laughs> like, like, wow. Wow, that's <laughs> my creative. Pro- my pronouns are power slash bottom. <laughs> power bottom. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, so there's like multiple scenes that they dedicate to showcase that this show is about women banding together and just treating men like dicks. Exactly. Uh, so th- that show, that's what the show does. It treats men like just blockhead dicks. Yeah. Because like even Bruce... Yes, this Bruce. dude gets shellacked in this show. Like, they have completely just... They, they ruined his character, especially mm-hmm. since he's connected to the Edward Norton movie, which yes. we just watched, um, which was far better than this show. Oh, yeah. Um, it's my current favorite MCU movie. They haven't been able to top that. <laughs> they haven't been able to top that, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like Iron Man and Captain America. Iron um, Man is also really good. I really like Thor's character and his arc in the... Yeah. Uh, in the like up until Infinity War, mm-hmm. um, which Infinity War was pretty good too. Um, I just didn't like Endgame, but I liked his arc. But I, it's it's funny because I like his arc, but I'm not super into his movies besides Ragnarok. Ragnarok is very rewatchable. Ragnarok, I feel like, was just like a break from everything else going on in the MCU and just having like a fun yeah uh, a, fun ride. Yeah, which you know, I mean. 
Taika Waititi's not bad. Just don't let him write. Yeah. Because that, that's that's what that's what down was the downfall of uh, Love and Thunder. I don't know if you saw any of Love and Thunder. No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh um, man, it was it was rough from what okay. I've seen or from what I what I've heard. Like here's here's the plot point that kind of broke it for me. It was one of the first ones that I heard for Thor: Love and Thunder was the very end. The way he defeats Gore, sort of, and or some of the enemies is uh, instead of saving the children and getting them the hell out of there. He gives them, each of the children, the power of Thor. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That is that is a plot point in that movie. They each of the kids get the power of Thor and they're able to like whoosh around and like kick ass and shit like that. Awesome. And I'm like, man, this you know could have been useful literally in any other movie. Mm-hmm. And you're using this now. It's just it's 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 a world breaking like event. And I'm like, you've ruined, you've ruined so much already. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's all apparently a lot of the gags. Some of them are okay. Some. Of them are okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but Thor Ragnarok was good just because Thor Ragnarok. it was fun. It was it was a very fun movie. I, yeah. Um, that's probably the one I've watched the most out of all the MCU. Uh, that or maybe mm-hmm. the first Captain America movie. Yeah, and it's kind of like in this sh- like even like going back to Thor Ragnarok because Hulk is it. Right. Um, in this show, he's just kind of Bruce, but in Hulk form. Which, you know, he's that not, was an in-game. He's not the Hulk, he's just Bruce. Big and green he's Bruce. He's Brock. Yes. Brock. The Brock. <laughs> the Brock. <laughs> um, and I just don't like that. I think I don't the like duality that. of Hulk is what makes him interesting. The idea that it, there's a beast within is what makes mm-hmm. it interesting. I mean, that's my, what Hulk is all about. My my dad used to talk about how he would get emotional with the intro of the Hulk movie, of the Hulk show in the sixties mm-hmm. when you have um when you have Bruce Banner and it, and it does the close up of him and he takes that deep breath in and then it has the 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 scene cut in half with Hulk on the other side. Yeah. Right. The duality. It's like the beast within being able to contain his anger. All that stuff. That's that's what made the Hulk. That's what that's what made the Hulk a complex character is the fact that, you know, he has to control this, otherwise people will die. Like yeah. good people will die, innocent people will die, because he can't control it once it's unleashed. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of like Hulk is like a very extreme example of like I'm fighting my inner self. Yes, yes. Um, it's 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 supposed to be, I guess, the 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 archetype of yeah, the inner conflict. Mm-hmm. And that is you you don't get that in Thor Ragnarok because he's just Hulk. Yeah, it's it's the best. There's no Bruce in there. Yeah. Uh, except for like towards the very end, but in there you just see what Hulk is about, and he's just doing Hulk shit. Right. It's it's kind of like, it's it's sort of a weird play on Planet Hulk. That's kind of weird. Yeah, but um, Planet Hulk. I, I was just. Better. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a Planet Hulk movie movie in the MCU, although there is an animated one. Look yeah, I, I thought Hulk about one. watching yeah. that. You should. Is it's it good? good. It is good. Yeah? Yeah, it's just like, there's no Bruce in it, it's just the Hulk, and he's a giga Chad <laughs> from the beginning to end. <laughs> yeah. He totally dicks down a lady, and we uh, hopefully we'll get to see some of Hulk. Hopefully. You know, um, you know who doesn't get that duality? Who? She-Hulk. No. Yeah. She, she is, is, that, that was the other thing, is that I hate how, you know, because you have Bruce Banner, and he's trying to teach her, he's like, hey, look, you can't go out in public as a Hulk. I need to teach you and understand so, so that way you can get over this issue. It mm-hmm. took me, he's such a sad character. I love yeah. sad characters. He's such a tragic character, because he spent 15 years of trauma trying to get past this creature. Yeah. Trying to overcome it, trying to do better as a as a character, as an individual, because of what is at stake, right? Yeah. And the there are points, you know, in, in Mark Ruffalo, uh, the, the scene in the Avengers where he's like, you know, I, he, you know, I put a bullet in my mouth and the other guy spit it out, being yeah. which is a great line, being that he he's attempted suicide and he can't kill himself mm-hmm. because the other guy won't let him. The other guy being Hulk. So he's stuck in this bat in this trap that he can't get out of. Yeah, and that's such a cool like 
dark theme for a character. Mm-hmm. The fact, you know, the, the Hulk being scary. In The Avengers, the Hulk is actually scary. He's a scary character, you know? Yeah. Um, and in, in The Incredible Hulk, I think he was, pre, he was actually a scary character in that, too. You know? uh, he had a softer side, but still. Uh, the Hulk is just like, it's honestly sort of like, well, the Planet Hulk, the animated movie. It's sort of like, because there's no Bruce, you don't get that conflict. Right. You just see, like, the Hulk trying to overcome outside enemies rather than himself. Right. Uh, so he's just like, I am facing enemies for the first time that could actually be stronger than me. Yeah. Uh, so it's like watching Titans fight. Yeah. Which, uh, which mean, is more what that movie's yeah, about. Which, which is, is fun in, in its own way. Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with your Godzilla movie, right? Absolutely not. Yeah. Um, so you got that. Uh, but with, with, with She-Hulk, anytime... So he has all this trauma and all this stuff that he's worked on, like having to control his fear and the difficulty, too. Mm-hmm. It's taken him years to master this. Right? Yeah. He's had uh, this whole character arc. And then he's like, it focuses, the, the, the triggers are usually fear and anger. And I have to teach you to control those. And she go, I think it was something like fear and anger and stress. And she makes this sly comment of basically what a woman goes through every day. Yeah. And that bugs the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, I understand everybody goes through stress. Men, women. <laughs> sub human sub like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're below us now even uh, even those even <laughs> even the other people people was like I don't like the way you treat <laughs> it's okay you put a lot of stink on that yeah. one <laughs> he can say that he's autistic <laughs> and he's banged trans people so you guys can't be offended listen he has rights <laughs> listen a hole's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> As a Homelander once said, if there's a hole, I can fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw that show, but that's a good line. That is a good that's line. A I think that I think that's from the the uh, I think that's from the uh, comic, not from the actual really? show. But I still like it as a line. Yeah, that is a good line. <laughs> um, because I'm pretty sure in that context he was like banging a planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he was on another, like, a, like an asteroid or a planet or something, and I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm like, you can't. He goes, if it's a hole, I can, I can fuck, fuck it. it. <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, gotta respect the energy, I guess. Um, that's big dick energy right there. That's, ap- I mean, to, to fit a meteor, yeah, it's gonna be some super big dick energy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, so was she Hulk? She talks about how, you know, she goes through stress all the time, and it's a slight comment like, oh, yes, because you're a whammon, you <laughs> go through more stress than everybody else. And it's like, no. It's like, no. It's just like, well, I don't even remember the examples, but she was like, yes, every time I get cat caught. Oh, yeah, every time I get, what was it? I, every time, oh, uh, that scene is what gets me most, because I'm talking about the scene where she's in the, uh, in the cell room, mm-hmm. which, by the way, if it's a cell room meant to contain a Hulk, how can she get out? She gets out. She's over there. She rages out. This, these blades come at her. She freaks out. And she's like, Bruce, you're trying to kill me. He's like, kind of, yeah. Um, she hulks up, pushes it away. And he's like, yes, yes. And I'm like, oh, man. No one, you fool. Yeah. She gets pissed. She breaks open and gets out. And I'm like, I thought this was supposed to continue. And she does it easily, too. Yeah. Like, she's just like, nope. Get this door out of the way. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have been any different if it was a wooden door. Yeah. And, of course, there's a montage of her being, like, training as the training. Hulk. She's immediately better at everything. Yeah, he's like, does. you know, um, he's, he does the classic, like, one of the classic poses. You see it in the trailer. And she's over here, like, fucking break dancing, Like, I yeah. got this down pat because I'm a woman. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, she throws the boulder farther than him. She ground smashes harder than him. Yeah. Uh, they get into a fight, and there's... It's really a tie, but I feel like the idea was that spiritually she won. Yeah, spi- yeah spiritually she won. So, let me get to this scene, because this is the scene that I think is the the most cataclysmic. Yeah, there's her kicking all the ass and shit. Um, and then he talks about, by the way, the, uh, the, the pros to being a Hulk. He's like, yeah. you can drink so much alcohol and not get drunk. And I'm like, 
How is that a pro? I thought that was the point of drinking alcohol yeah, was to get like, drunk. You can do so much blow and never feel a single bit of energy from it. <laughs> You're not wired at all. You're no. just normal and you paid for coke <laughs> <laughs> you're just flat standard and two hundred dollars out of cash <laughs> yeah i'm like okay i was gonna say 80 bucks but i mm. don't know coke prices so i figured that was too low don't worry 80 dollars is actually a pretty good amount yeah oh yeah because you know that shit's cut with like a ton of other things <laughs> it's got Mostly... flour in it <laughs> Actually, they like to use B12 vitamins now. Yeah. Except they started coloring them, so you can't do that shit anymore. So it's oh. back to salt and flour. Back to salt and flour. <laughs> um, and I and I love it because he says, he says all buzz, no no barf. And I was like, okay, that's a neat trick because that means you can get drunk and not throw up, right? Cool. But she still has a hangover, so I'm like, I thought there wasn't any downsides to drinking. You were trying to prop up drinking but you still get a hangover is it only when you're a human do you get the hangover do you have to stay as a hulk forever and do you have to let the alcohol completely let's, go through your yeah, system let, let, yeah i was gonna say let's go through some science shit so if yeah. you're a hulk he says you metabolize the alcohol faster at a faster mm -hmm. rate so you can drink more right yeah which is odd um because i would have thought if it gets into your bloodstream faster that would mean you get drunk quicker but I don't know. I, I don't know the science behind that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that the writers are correct on that, okay? If, he can, if you can metabolize the alcohol faster and you can drink a lot more as you saw them do, mm -hmm. then wouldn't the buzz go away quicker and like the, 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 the alcohol go through your system quicker? For one thing, you'd probably pee a lot more, right? Oh, yeah. yeah you'd, you'd, Crazy you'd, amounts. You'd be doing fountain over here. So... That would happen, right? And then I would assume that before you even fell asleep, the alcohol would probably be out of your system by how fast they're metabolize, metabolizing this, yeah. this alcohol, right? So then if you reverted back to normal form, you probably wouldn't have a hangover because it'd be out of your system. Like alcohol is out of your system usually within hours. Mm -hmm. If you're a Hulk, that should be within like two to three hours tops. I don't understand why she has a hangover. It's just bad. <laughs> it's, it's just bad writing. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. So anyway, that that's one of the downsides. But he get, it gets to this line. This is this is the fucking kicker, man. They're doing this whole shit, and he's talking about you need to control your anger. All that jazz. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And he's talking about yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Regulate your emotions, especially your anger. And she pulls this shit, right? He's like, you got to regulate your anger. And she goes, I'm great at controlling my anger. You can see here, do it all the time. When I'm catcalling the street, which, by the way, they gave us examples of, which I didn't think we needed. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess. I wouldn't even call what the other dudes were doing catcalling, because catcalling is normally when you compliment a lady, right? You're like, yeah. hey, you know, what's up, fat ass? Like, mm -hmm. what's up, pretty lady? You know, or do a Johnny Bravo where it's like, hey, <laughs> you're pretty, mm. I'm pretty, want to find someplace quiet and stare at each other. Yeah. Which is one of my favorite Johnny Bravo lines. Um, and then she's talking about mansplaining, which we had Dennis yeah. uh, mansplain earlier, you know, absolutely, by saying, you know, smile more because women can't smile. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't... I will be called emotional, difficult, or might just literally get murdered. Mm -hmm. I don't know the exact stat, but I'm pretty sure men are killed more than women on a daily basis. And most of those murders are done by me. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to need the paralegal. <laughs> He's going to need She-Hulk. To, to... I need She-Hulk as my lawyer. <laughs> as my lawyer. Uh, so there's that. Um, it, but it's, it's, it's this right here. Yeah, might just later get murdered. Ugh. So I am an expert, and and Hulk is just taking this like what a, I, you know I know people I know Beta is a more modern term, but what a Beta bitch just taking <laughs> all of this shit. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. 
that is what is the kicker. Like, really, this is Bruce Banner you're talking to. You're talking to your cousin who has had decades of trauma, Mm -hmm. trying to control this anger and trying to control his body that he can't control. He's not responsible for this. Yeah. He's been living with this for years, this disease, this whatever you want to call it, this this beast within. He has to control his emotions better than anybody because if he doesn't, people will get killed. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's more intense than your freaking beauty pageant that you had in ninth grade. <laughs> and, and so it's like – and it's not just anger. It's yeah. an increased heart rate. Exactly. It's anything that can and get the, your blood pumping. Yeah, when we were watching the Hulk, he couldn't have sex because he's like, shit, I can't. My heart will race too much, which was a neat addition. Yeah. We didn't need that. We didn't we could have, that. We could have had, you know, a take your breath away scene. You know, we could have had a Top yeah. Gun sex scene, you know, with it being slow and sensual. But, but he's no. like – He's like, nah. Like, if, they were getting hot and heavy, like, really quick. He was like, like if I have to bang you, it has to be plutonic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, like, uh, the almost sex scene that we got in Incredible Hulk, like, they were digging into each they other's bodies. They were going, bodies. yeah, like, and you could hear. They were getting at it. And, and, and it was a neat moment of tension, because in the beginning of the, of the movie, he has to maintain his heart rate, and you hear the beeper. Mm-hmm. Well, as they're getting hot and heavy, the beeper starts going off, and you're like, oh, shit. He could transform at any moment. What if he transforms inside her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, God. <laughs> then she's really going to be dead. <laughs> Do you think the Hulk would stop? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just, oh I, I feel like he would. Not only would he not stop, he would go hard. The reason why I think it would be possible is because a woman can birth out a, a baby's head. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's it's possible. Okay, but here's my uh, rebuttal to that. <laughs> okay. A baby starts off as a cell, and it just slowly gets bigger. There's fucking just like a quick few Insta- seconds. Instant oh, oh, it's totally torn. Well, I yeah. Mean, I mean, you have to We're say like, like you have a baby, like you you have a baby that's inside you, right? It grows, right? Yeah. And that's over time. I'm talking about like specifically through the, the like the vaginal hole. Well, the vagina because that will uh, stretch and, and it often tears. Yeah, the, it does often tear, but the thing is that your vag- the I don't know why I'm saying your, your vagina. Your, but, your vagina. Yeah, but it, like a woman's vagina will take time slowly to dilate. Uh, There's gotcha. no dilation. It's just like you're just – imagine giving birth – ladies, all two of you that are watching this. <laughs> um, wh- Shay included. <laughs> Shay included. Any one of you that have had a baby and have given birth, imagine that. But the dilation of your vagina took a matter of seconds. Imagine that. Just, uh, imagine those muscles contract, could, like expanding and contracting, and you'd be dead. Just within. Yeah, yeah. You, like you'd be dead. Yeah, like the muscle. Because uh, there, there, there have been like the, the 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 weird like stories of women that try to have sex with horses. They died. <laughs> yeah, they died. They, they absolutely uh, died. I imagine the experience is similar. Also, I don't think it's just the girth that you have to worry about. I think it's the length. I think the length is incredibly important. Because you important. think, like, a woman's vagina is, like, you know, four to five inches. That They say, like, four to five inches. Right. And then it goes into the uterus yes. after that. So you're Eventually, just, you're just in the uterus. Yeah, you're just banging organs at that yeah, point. Yeah, you're just fucking organs. Yeah. So, yeah, I think if Hulk did have sex, he would rearrange that woman's insides immediately, and uh, yep. she'd be dead. She'd be very dead. She'd be fucking Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saying it. But it's just... <clears throat> this line is such a slap in the face to the character that they wrote so many years ago. Mm-hmm. The idea of the duality. You know, the you have the the, you know... The thing that made Incredible Hulk was so great was you had the Beauty and the Beast archetype, mm-hmm. right? You know, you had... Not only is the Hulk good in, in the 2008 Incredible Hulk, but Betty is also really good. Betty is also good. And Natasha, or, or Black Widow, in mm-hmm. in the the Avengers movies, she became the Beauty for the Beast, right? Mm-hmm. She was able to calm down uh, the Beast. They should have just gotten Betty again. <laughs> they really should have. I don't know why. She exists only in this the, movie. It's it's weird. Like why? Like the the Hulk has such a bad rap in Marvel these days. Like yeah. I I saw yeah. I saw a Hulk toy figure right of 
the Hulk smirking. Smirking? The Hulk doesn't smirk. That's like Hulk roars like Hulk a fucking roars. lion. He's... Hulk is a man. Hulk is gonna fucking wreck some shit. He is a he is full of testosterone and anger. Yeah. He just does He's not gonna days. smirk. No. <laughs> or at least not for a toy. You don't buy a Hulk toy because he's smirking. You buy a Hulk toy because he's a fucking Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Because he's like like four hundred pounds of muscle. <laughs> if not more. You know, it's just it's 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 insane, just this line. It's such a slap in the face to that character that this chick who instantly becomes a Hulk and instantly is able to control it is like, I'm sorry that I'm just this better than you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that, you know, the thing that you pioneered, the thing that made you you, or, or at least as far as the comics are concerned, as far as the meta is concerned, right? The thing that made Bruce Banner, Bruce Banner, or the Hulk, she's like, I'm sorry that I'm just infinitely better than you at this because yeah. I'm a woman. And, you know... I don't have a problem with female empowerment stuff. I like female empowerment stuff in, in, in you know, certain cases. I watch rom-coms, I'll have you know. <laughs> Not willingly. No. I have a wife. <laughs> All right, so we can strike that from the record. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, I'm trying to... I try to remember any rom-coms that I like, but they all blend together. They're because, all the same Because they're all the same movie. It's the same movie. It's the same formula. It, like, the rom-com movie is basically, you know, single productive woman, right, that has a career in life ahead of her, finds an attractive male that is a chaotic but also incredibly charming individual mm-hmm. that just slays every night yeah. but stops when he sees her for some reason um and then they end up somehow through some sort of contrivance end up coming together by it's some sort of coincidence they yeah. come together uh there's a little spark there you know they start diving into their relationship it's this whole you know comedy bit uh, almost like a montage. Then you have the the second act, you know, down part basically where they find out some sort of secret, you know, and hitch like, oh, I didn't know, like this is all a game or you know, blah blah blah, some sort of like conflict. They separate for a few, I guess, technically minutes in you know mm-hmm. our time. Um, they separate for a little bit and then they do some sort of reconciliation in the end. And they come together. And that's that is every rom com ever written. That's gonna be your rom. I want to see a rom com where they just break up permanently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, like yeah, have, have a rom or no, have a rom com where he dies in the end. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> have a rom com where he cheats on her. Yeah, with another ooh, woman. Ooh, and the that, other woman is actually a much better match. Yeah, that would be that would be a cardinal sin for yeah. a rom com. No, yeah, do that. Do where, that. Like, have the man. Have the 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 the, the charming like. Poon Slayer, freaking cheat on the on the main on the main protagonist woman. Yeah, that would be an interesting. And then story. he stays with the uh, mistress. That movie would deserve a sequel. Yeah, that would be that would be some some like Johnny Depp's secret window shit. Yeah, in the end, right there. I'm like, oh, 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 what a twist! Fuck, what a twist! You wouldn't be expecting that in your rom com, man. That'd be some. That'd be a decent movie. I'd watch yeah, that. Yeah, I'd watch, I'd, I'd, I'd watch we that. We should write it. We, you know, we should. We should yeah. write a rom com <laughs> where the guy cheats on the main protagonist, and then it, and then like ima- imagine that like afterwards the the woman becomes like a serial stalker and ends up murdering the guy in the yeah. end, like in the sequel. That would be fantastic. That's a good movie. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that that's a good like double feature yeah. right there. And then she murder fucks the mistress. Oh yeah, yeah. out of pure hatred. Freaking slaughters her too. Yeah. At the end of it, and then and then buries them, and then builds a cornfield. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up secret Starts, window. Makes a garden. <laughs> uh, makes a garden. Yeah. Actually, we actually we just completely blatantly steal the scene from Secret Garden and just splice it into the movie. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Turns out the woman was Johnny Depp all along. <laughs> yeah. But that'd be a much more interesting story than She Hulk. 
<laughs> and um, also, I'm not going to watch any more of this show. No. I don't feel like it. And uh, yeah. I feel like the episodes are largely going to be exactly the same. But there is an ending to the f- first episode that I did see where a woman who doesn't announce her name or gives no oh, reason yeah. why she's there. She yeah. just breaks through the courtroom. So, yeah, yeah, they, they have this they have this courtroom scene, right? So um, it's really quick and thrown in at the end. Like, there's only, like, a handful of minutes left of this, of this courtroom scene. But this lady, unannounced, who... By the way, don't know why she's there. Don't know what her name is. She has no reason for being there. No reason for showing up. It is highly contrived unless they write in something later. And like, ah, oh, she was there because of X. Didn't you know she's connected with the lawyer at GLKH? Yeah. XYZ. They give they give no time to explain why she's there. I'm guessing, and this is a theory, and maybe they'll explain it in a future episode. But she is somehow part of the accident that they are in court for. Yeah. And she's just there to kill, like, the CEO of the company that caused the accident or something. It's possible. Because they're there for, like, H, J, and K or something. Uh, like it's, it's like G, L, K, and H. And I'm like, yeah. you couldn't have made a more <clears throat> uninteresting like attorney, yeah, so attorney like, business. So she's there for G, L, H, or G, L, K, whatever. Um... She's there because of something that they did, something that co- the company did, and the lady just breaks in. Yeah, the, and lady... the lady breaks in and has the fucking audacity to look at She-Hulk and be like, "Who oh, the hell go. are you? Like, bitch, who are you? Who are who the <laughs> fuck are you? Yeah, none of us know who she is. <laughs> Obviously, giant green lady that's oddly strong." I would assume that's a Hulk. Mm-hmm. Like the Hulk is a much more well-known character than your fat ass. <laughs> like who the hell are you? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? I like how she doesn't even add. Like that would be the better thing. That'd be the better response because she's like, I'm Jenny Walker's attorney at law. Yeah. Right. Why wouldn't she just be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Wouldn't that be the yeah. m- more appropriate response? She's like, there is no other response. That's why. Than that. That's why I like uh, the one. Uh, the one scene in uh what was it uh x-men 3 when they're like who are you and he's like it's like i'm the juggernaut bitch (laughs) (laughs) like as much as as many problems as that movie has i do appreciate that line yeah like you at least know who that fucker was yeah he was the juggernaut yeah right here explosion boom chick walks in right by the way wearing tassels she looks like she's dressed like a supervillain. She looks like yeah. one of the women at the bar. <laughs> Elvis Presley called. He wants his tassels back. And she's there. Yep. Ooh, no one can escape. Glad we saw that. Oh, yeah, I do like if you watch in the background, the uh, the, the security yeah. guards are just wrestling. There's just She broke through a wall, yeah. but these two security there, guards are able yeah. to hold her up. And they're still going at it, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this entire time. still Still wrestling with her. She walked. She walked through a wall, but she's still able to rest. I just want to see the behind the scenes image of. Let me make sure that's. Oh, that is. Oops, that needs to be redone. God fucking dang it! I'll fix it later. It's fine. It's a bit zoomed in. Maybe I can just do. Oh nope, that made it okay. smaller. That's fine. <laughs> ah, there make we it go. huge. Make it huge. Make it bigger. It needs to be bigger. Yeah. And they're just taking their sweet time to uh, transform into the Hulk. Yep. It's like Jenny, oh. your shoes. Oh yeah, all that shit. Anyway, it's fine. It's fucking whatever. Um. Yeah, Jenny, get your shoes. So, Jenny grabs her shoes, takes them off because, you know, these, uh, those fucking $10 Walmart pairs of shoes will, will need to be saved after any, after all of this. Yeah. She turns into her Hulk form. All that jazz. 
everyone stares. Yeah, yeah. Off. She's like, "Who the hell are you? Who the fuck are you to ask this question?" Yeah, you, you just up you just showed up. Like, I'm yeah. supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm I, <laughs> I'm the attorney at law right now for the defendant. I think this show is going to be more of a lawyer show than a superhero show. Oh, I mean, I think that's the point. Yeah, Jennifer Walters, attorney at law, and also this cutting. Like, look, freaking this whole take is nothing but chop suey. Yeah. Like, as someone who's done a fair bit of editing and a fair bit of uh, chopping, that was uh, that was poorly done. Mm-hmm. I would say at least. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah. It's. It's like, the, in, in the second episode isn't anything better. I just watched an awesome dude get some super serum and take on the Incredible Hulk by himself without being Abomination yet, right? Mm-hmm. And then we get the Abomination that's in this show. And it is just a complete like, bastardization of what the original character was. Mm-hmm. He's straight up like, castrated yeah he's absolutely he's, castrated. he's over here he's like i've i've turned over a new leaf i have some some soulmates that i met with you know my that i met on the pen pal program i've written these haikus over everyone that i've innocently killed listen to them man. i'm just like you yeah you used to be a super soldier badass who wanted more power it was blatantly obvious that the serum was fucking with you why are you suddenly better I understand why he's better. He took the serum. He still has it in him. Is he? Yeah, that's my question. It's like, even after like 15 years, do you still have the serum inside you? Yes, he does. Because he can still turn into Abomination. Abomination wasn't a trans... Like, he, it, okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. Did they leave the serum in and take the Hulk blood out? No. Because he can still turn into Abomination. He's... We've seen the character. You're not... Abomination was not able to just transform into Abomination. It was a permanent mutation. Yes. He's not just a guy it was a, it, it the was, Abomination. Yeah. We, I mean, after just watching the movie, you, you watch... He puts in the serum. The serum starts affecting with his mental state. Yeah. Because he wants more power. He wants to forever be immortalized as one of the greatest soldiers. Mm-hmm. I mean, he even says that in, in uh, She-Hulk. He's like, I don't know. I thought I was going to be fucking Captain America or something. Yeah. Right? Um, which I don't think he would have thought that in The Incredible Hulk. He I, mean, I, I, I think he was going to be... I, I, honestly, I think he just had a taste of super serum and he wanted to kill Hulk. Yeah, he wanted to kill Hulk. He, he wanted, wanted to be better than Hulk. He wanted to be the strongest, you know, which mm-hmm. I mean is... Which, which, as far as villain... It's motivation, motivation enough. Good, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, good enough for me. That's all you really need. Um, And he was like, I, you know... Need, more power and the, and the whole serum I guess was messing with his mind he takes the serum and they're like and the guy who gives him the serum is like I don't know what this is going to do to your body and he goes like I give a shit <laughs> inject it into my arm I need this black tar heroin yeah um, right now yeah he, he takes it in and boom he's good to go uh, and turns into abomination which I didn't think was reversible because he was unconscious I think no no he wasn't unconscious after your whole killed him out which by the way that's the one thing I didn't like about Betty was Betty stopped the Hulk from totally ripping his like. Oh yeah, his head off. Right, it's like he was he was gonna snap his fucking neck. He was going to just, just wreck his shit. I and wanted to like, see. No. I wanted to see like a neck snapping scene where his head just does one eighty and he's staring behind him. Yeah. What what I what I was expecting to happen was instead of like a neck snap. Because the chain was locked around his neck, I was expecting to get a shot of a like because of how vulgar the Incredible Hulk was. I was expecting to see his head just pull from his uh from his shoulders and just get ripped out, yeah, spinal cord and everything like Predator style, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, which we need to watch Predator. Predator's good though. Predator's good. Um, we'll do another episode of that. Yeah, we'll do. You know, we, we gotta keep. We have to have some positive things on this. Um, yeah. But. It's just, it's, it, all it does is it just gives this girl powers, she's just a superwoman now, and it bastardizes the Hulk as an IP, honestly. I think Mm -hmm. it hurts the reputation of the Hulk in general, this show. Yeah. 
Um, and it does it in 30 minutes. Well, is there even any more to say about it? I don't think so. It's like, it's just... Well, after, yeah, after all that, it's just getting into the nitty gritty, but mm-hmm. you know, like, the, the overall, the overall is just, it's just trash. Don't watch She-Hulk. Don't watch it. It's not worth it. If you're a super liberal, vulnerable woman, maybe you'd like it. If you're, yeah, if you're, if you're a liberal, like, soccer mom that wants uh, a movie to watch that will make you feel better about yourself, this is the show for you. This is the show for you. If you're someone who likes decent writing, no. Thank you, audience, for staying tuned to this. Um, We're probably going to have a few more drinks and and talk about something else for a couple hours. Yeah. You guys have a good night. Good night.